Hey guys, welcome to It's a Party, I am Nate. In this episode, we're doing kind of like a review. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really simple steak dish with this fun seasoning I found, it's called gunpowder. I just saw this really cool seasoning on Instagram and I thought, man, hey, I wanna try that. It's a steak and brisket seasoning by Grill Your Ass Off. Now, just to be clear, this is not a sponsored post and we are not getting paid. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. I just saw it and thought it was really cool and wanted to give it a go. So, let's give it a go. Now to go with my steak, I've got some radicchio and some broccolini. I'm using a boneless ribeye today, and this is the seasoning. It's called gunpowder, and it is really, really cool. Uh, we're just gonna season it with the gunpowder. We don't need anything else, just the gunpowder seasoning. Now you can see that it's black. It's got activated charcoal in it, which gives it a really cool color. Now this is kind of weird, uh, which is probably why. I'm not usually into like stuff like this. It was interesting. It was so interesting when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to buy it. So this gunpowder, uh, it's basically just like a really great steak seasoning with that activated charcoal. Now we're using heat zones, direct heat and indirect heat. We're gonna cook our steak uh, on the direct heat first. We're gonna get that gorgeous sear, we're gonna lock in all those flavors, get that caramelization, that crust, that Maillard reaction. Eh, smarty pants. So once we get our grill marks on both sides, we're going to, uh, look at that, look how black it looks. It's not charred by the way, it's just caramelized perfectly, but it looks like, it's cool, it's really cool. Now we're gonna move it to the indirect side and we're gonna add some wood. Uh, I'm using cherry wood today, I really like fruit woods of late. Uh, so we're gonna add some cherry wood uh, and let that start burning, start to get some smoke. Now I've got some broccolini, we'll talk about that in a, in a minute, I don't know if, if you've ever had it, it's awesome. Uh, we're gonna start with our radicchio, cut it in half, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Really simple, now we're gonna put it cut side down right over the heat, uh, get a nice little bit of char. I threw a couple of jalapenos on there just because I like the heat. Uh, we're not gonna char these completely, just a little bit of char goes a long way. We're gonna close the lid, let that start to smoke just a little bit. Now this is broccolini and it's it's got a lot of wonderful bitterness to it. Uh, I'm going super simple, salt and pepper, olive oil, give it a toss. Um, I'm gonna flip my uh, radicchio over and check out that like gorgeous caramelization. Just a little bit of char, just a little bit of char. Uh, we're gonna add our broccolini, same thing. We're gonna get just a nice uh, bit of char uh, sear on that just to, to bring out some of those smokier flavors. Uh, once we give those a flip and they're starting to look beautiful, we're going to pull everything over to the indirect side. Now you guys have heard us talk about direct and indirect heat. Uh, using this method really gives you a larger window of cookery to make sure everything stays cooked uh, or gets cooked properly. So we want uh, indirect heat on one side, so no direct heat, and we're gonna let it smoke um, for just a little while until it's finished to your liking. I like the medium rare. So we're gonna let this rest for just a bit. Look at that gorgeous crust on this thing. This is a, it's a beautiful steak, and that gunpowder is super fun. It's weird, but it's fun. Uh, pull all the rest of your veggies off. I'll go put those to the side. Uh, now once you let your steak rest, please, please let your steaks rest. We can give it a slice, and check that out, my friends. It is gorgeous. Uh, using that direct and indirect method is gonna give you the best steaks. You need to start doing that, whether you're on gas or charcoal. Um, with your vegetables, too, you can get a really good toasty char on your vegetables, and then let them finish cooking in the indirect heat. Uh, we talked about it the other day on an episode of Just the Tip. Direct and indirect heat, they need to be your best friends. If you're not using it, you need to. Good, good tip. I hope you guys love that episode. It's a really simple, easy dish. There was lots of green, but I kind of dig that. And the steak, that black steak, super fun. Uh, the company's called Grill Your Ass Off, and the spice is called Gunpowder. It's super fun. Uh, go check them out. Give them a like on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, and all that fun stuff. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please leave us a comment, like, share, all the fun social media stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Nate, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.